So if you look at my New Year's resolution uh, vlog, I'll put a link of that in the description below if you haven't looked at that already. I have a ton of goals that I've gone over and I'll show you those again. And I just want to be accountable and see where I'm at now. And then I have some awesome things that I'm going to be doing this next month to really jump start it and get to where I want to be by the end of the school year. And just as a rehash, these are my goals for the year. Um, I did the planning backwards and um, and some I'm doing better than others. In full disclosure, I did the Metafast diet on par 100% until the end of December. These last two months, I probably have been doing it about 60% to 70% right. The one reason that's not good for Metafast is uh, if you're not in ketosis, if you're not in the fat burn stage, then you're not really doing the diet. And if you eat off at all, then it can kick you out pretty easily. And so if you're eating not on diet, you're basically not doing the Metafast right. I ordered some more food. I haven't been ordering food because I thought I was going to stop the Metafast, but I want to end it in a position of strength. Rather than go over all these other goals, I'll, at this point I'm just going to go over what I'm going to do this next month. So it's pretty exciting, pretty scary, but mostly exciting. So first off, in the month of April, I'm going to run four or five Ks. So each Saturday, I'm going to run and sign up for a specific 5K race. I've already found the specific ones uh, here in Utah. Some are in Salt Lake, some are in Pleasant Grove. I want to do this. This is for me. Any of you that are local here that want to run those, I'd love to have you. I'm going to put the links below of all the four that I'm going to do so you can look at the ones. And there's one each Saturday of this next month. So the first one is this uh, Quest of the Pony Express 5K run. It's next Saturday. It's April 5th. You, you run like as if you're a part of the, the Pony Express and that'll be pretty cool. The next one is going to be for Run For Your Life, Diabetes 5K, April 12th. It's going to be, there's going to have a pre-run Zumba warm-up that I think I'll actually go to. I've never done any Zumba before. I'm going to go try that out. And the next week is here, there'll be one here in Pleasant Grove. It's another one for breast cancer. I love running for these. I like this one. They pick you up here, drive you up here, and then you run downhill this whole way. And the last one for the month is the Girl Scout one. It's a 5K, and you get different prizes and win Girl Scout cookies for the race, and you can buy them there as well. I wanted to do something awesome. So this is my last month of school at BYU. I'm pretty close to losing 100 pounds, about 15, 20 pounds off, give or take the week You know of how well I'm doing. But I want to get to 100 pounds loss total. It'll have me down to uh, 265. So by the end of April, I'm going to be at 265. I'm going to do 100% Metafast diet. Hopefully that's exciting for you guys. I think it's pretty crazy to run four or five Ks in a month. One every Saturday. But it's something I want to do. I think it'll be a good send-off for me. And just, it sounds right. So... Keep watch for me. I'm going to make some great changes. No cheat days for this month, just this one month. You know, Then I'm going to start implementing that because cheat days don't really work well with Metafast. Let me know if you have any suggestions uh, or any thoughts on this. I'd love to hear them uh, down in the comments below. I'm going to go and see how far I can run at this point tomorrow. I wasn't feeling pretty good today and I still don't really feel good, but... I've learned that most of life is pushing through days that you don't feel good. When I want to see what kind of distance I can do, and I know I can do more than three miles, I just want to see how far I can go. Love you guys. Thanks so much for all the support. Please, again, let me know any suggestions you have or thoughts on my goals this next week. And let me know how your uh, New Year's resolutions are going and if any help I can do in helping you guys get back on those goals. We need We need to constantly check in and you know, we don't want to get to the end of the year and be like, oh, I wanted to do all these things. We need to continually make those changes now. So love you. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow.